I turned, in 1943, I turned 25 years old in April, and they had me drafted in there when come August, I was all, I was in there. And I was proud to go. I thought I'd need to go. And when it got over, I thought we'd done something great, but we've had wars ever since. And I was a, a gunner on a B-17. Where's my airplane? Oh, right here. here. Which, which gun? Which gunner were you? Right up here in the very nose. Nose gunner. And I was a bombardier. Just hold it, Brian. Right here, if you'd like. Yeah. I was right up here in the very nose. Right, right here in the very nose is where I sat. Right there, and I run them guns, and the, and the bomb bay is down underneath it, and I was bombardier too. And we, uh, this was my crew. Okay, we flew these missions. We flew, uh, there'd be a seven of us, and this would be the leader. We had three groups of seven, that would be 21 planes. And from our base every morning when we took off, there would be a hundred. There would be 20 of those groups of seven take off <laughs> to go to Germany to bomb Germany. And we flew a tight formation, I mean, with, with our group. And we had something that, we were flying right down here, we were called Tail, tail End Charlie. And this plane here went to having a lot of trouble. So the commander here gives to raise up and get around and get in their position because we were getting real close to the bomb, to the, to the bomb run. Well, they caught up with us. They got things straightened out. They caught up with us. And I cry every time I think of this. Plane come up and shot them down where we were supposed to be, and I'm back here. We changed positions in the air, and that's, I guess you'd say that's when somebody's looking after you. And we then, we flew, every other day we'd fly a mission. We'd take one day and then fly a mission, and we're supposed to do plenty twice. And on our seventh when we got shot up real bad in Germany, real bad. And we hobbled back to where Patton had took this, uh, the day before, we were, our navigator said we're, we're in friendly territory. We had two engines running yet, so we put her on the ground. Down the little strips, pretty big, put a, a big airplane down on the ground that way. But that's, that's the way it happened. And we all survived, and they took us back. But, yeah. but I run this bomb site, and I don't know whether, I don't know whether that's about it anymore. But this was, <laughs> this was up in the nose of this plane, and. See this picture here? Here was the, the guns, you know how they were. Here's the guns that I manned. They took care of this, of this, of this uh, underneath here. <coughs> but I uh, had a lot of experience. That was the main thing that happened to me when I was going. Now I forgot anything else. When we come home, when my brother's killed, I, I, our co-pilot lived in Kansas City. And how we got there, him and I, we rode on small junk planes where we could get. We had no money. And when we landed in Kansas City, we, we finally had enough to get us a bus ticket from someplace, and we come into Kansas City on the bus. And his mother and father and his sister met us. And they were good people. They were, they were really good to me. I had no money, but I borrowed some, <laughs> I borrowed some money from him. He was a businessman, and he didn't even want me to pay it back. But he, in this plane where we changed positions, he was flying co-pilot in that plane. He never got to fly with us. And he lost his life and went down, so we never got to fly with him. And so when I got out of the service, why, his father had called me and I met him in Kansas City. And I forget what his mother's name was, but she was a great woman and I said, tell me about her, and he said, she's plum. I got her in a nursing home. She couldn't stand it that she lost her son. Now that's pretty tough to do. <laughs> and I heard from him one other time and he said she had died. Mm -hmm. And his name was Freeze and he lived in Plattsburgh, Missouri. So I know they're all gone now. I, I hate that that I didn't keep better track, but that's just the way you do things. And I'm real proud to, to be asked to come back here. 
I like all you people. <laughs> <laughs> is, is our time about up? Yeah, yeah. whenever you're finished. Okay, let's do let's do God bless America. <laughs> God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America. My home, sweet home, God bless America, my home, sweet home. Thank you all for asking me to come. Thank you. I enjoy seeing all of you again. I like this. <coughs> Bell.